exercise actually has a lot of positive functions in terms of uh, making the brain better. Uh, exercise produces uh, chemicals in our brains, neurotransmitters and growth factors that promote our ability to control our emotions or to help us uh, have a more positive outlook in life. Uh, but it also uh, is the right, it creates the right recipe for our brain cells to grow. And like all of our bodies, uh, parts or our cells in our body, if we're not growing, we're eroding. And uh, having the right regimen, uh, the right mixture of support uh, for our brain cells to grow is what exercise does. So we add in neurotransmitters, if some familiar with uh, our serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, but we also increase uh, the amount of uh, brain fertilizer, which uh, I call miracle growth for the brain, which is a brain-derived neurotropic factor, which does everything that fertilizer does, including helping the brain cells stay alive uh, and not erode as we age, helps us deal with stresses, uh, but it also promotes the growth of our nerve cells. And that is important for learning because we don't learn anything unless our brain cells grow. Because we're using so much of our brain uh, when we exercise, we have a lot more blood flowing up there. We're bringing more oxygen and blood flow up there. We're actually growing more uh, conduits or more uh, capillaries and uh, to bring up more blood to the brain because we're using it and we're growing it. Uh, we're growing our brain cells so they're more connected one to another. And we're also increasing a whole new process that we just learned about 10 years ago called neurogenesis, which means we're growing new brain cells every day. And exercise is the biggest promoter of us growing new brain cells.